Hello and welcome to WMKC TV with me, Chris McCarthy. The final, well, nearly said the final, final there, sorry. Final race of the day, that's better. Final race of the day is the Senior Max and Senior X30. Now, the Senior Max we will be concentrating on for this one, but the Senior X30s will be running off the front of this. You'll probably just see them going through the top of your picture there. But let's go through the grid for the Senior Max with you. A pole position and another world finalist we have today, like David Willer, Josh Price it is who starts from pole. Guy Perry will start alongside him on second. On the second row, we have Jack Constable and Sam Smelt. Row three was due. Charlie Turner was due. Charlie Turner, sorry, was due to start from fifth place. Hasn't taken to the trek for some reason. Not too sure why. Rob Kilford starts from sixth place. Bobby Nils from set starts seventh. Toby Payne will start 8th place and on row 5. David Wright on the 43. Daniel Wood, last year's Junior Max champion, starts from 10th place. So, see how he gets on in the senior class. Oh, and there's been a spin there from Josh Price, the pole man. That's on the warm-up lap. Oh, dear. And, well, the senior X30 is already gone. So, I believe we will not have a chance to get another restart. Everyone seems to be a bit confused here. The Marge was furiously waving up to shut down. A slow down, sorry, but... Yeah, well, we can't even restart, so the race goes ahead with Jack Constable on pole, and he's lost that pole. And I've seen Price has gone spam around in the background. Perry leads coming up the hill. Yeah, Perry leads up the hill with a massive advantage. Constable second. You can see Price took a spin there. And what's turned it? Well, in these days, it's gone from bad to worse, isn't it? So Perry is first, Constable second. I, don't, I think Price is right at the back of the field there. There's, yeah, there's Constable. Smelt it is there. Toby Payne fourth. Jake Sturt, that is in fifth place. And what, that, that, what a manic start this is to the race. So, Price, he's, that was a rare mistake by the world finalist there. Spun on the warm-up lap. Can't believe that. Spun on the warm-up lap. And with the X30s off the front of the grid or is in race mode, there's no way we re could restart. So, that meant the race had to go ahead. I'm not too sure where Price restarted from eventually. But wherever he did, he was also spun round. So, oh, what a dreadful, dreadful first lap that has been. For the, uh, for the world finalist. Competed in the world finals in the junior category in New Orleans. Alongside with David Woodup. So, did well in that as well. So, good to see him up into seniors. So, Perry leads. Jack Constable second. Smelt third. Payne fourth. Bobby Neal there in fifth place. Trying to go past Toby Payne. Oh, just trying to settle myself now after that. It was a manic start, wasn't it? To, to this senior max final. As always, proving to be entertaining and well in some sort of controversial Bobby Neal is behind Toby Payne looks, looks fast doesn't he coming into Chapman's will we see him make a move oh we didn't but however we do see a move from Sam Smelt in the 21 fantastic move there from the man in the cosmic Bobby Neal oh, Toby Payne so they've all followed him through uh, Toby Payne and Bobby Neal both following through there so three positions lost to Jack Constable in the one corner who now sits in, what's that, one, two, three, four, fifth place. Just behind him, we have Sturt and Daniel Wood in the 30. There we go, Sam Smelt, a regular in the Super 1 and Euro Max challenge. A very, a very quick driver indeed. Did well in the International Open, finished on. Oh, and we have a spin there by the number 11, Jack Constable. Oh, dear. So, we just put, we're in second, we've been passed. Look, went all the way back to fifth and now he's spun and now another spin as Bobby Neal makes contact with Sam Smelt but gets going again so well two spinners in about three corners Bobby Neal somehow has come out in second in all of that Toby Payne is in third Jake Sturt now challenges for third and gets past and oh, he also spins and there's Price who's gone over the front of Jake Sturt and Danny Russell also getting caught up there in the number 12 oh dear what a manic lap that was so first we had Constable spin then as we come down the hill, Bobby Neal and Sam Smelt. Well, we've seen a lot of contact today, haven't we? Especially down the hill. Bobby Neal appeared to make contact with Smelt. Spun him back round again. Got, got both of them, the pair got going. And then Jake Sturt looked up the inside for third place into Chapman's. And he was he also spun round. And, well, if you had to guess, who would be the man who got caught up in all of that again? Well, it was only Josh Price, wasn't it? Who's having a torrid afternoon, hasn't he? Not having a good day at the office. Danny Russell in just behind. Must say, Danny Russell started in last place. 22nd and last for this final. So he's doing a good job, isn't he, to be up 
in the top 10. Uh, so there's Bobby Neal second, Toby Payne third, Smelt fourth. You can see Josh Price taking that inside line. Everyone else seems to be going sort of middle-ish to outside. Josh Price finding that the inside line for him is the best line. There's Daniel Wood, Danny Russell in just behind. Danny Russell flying, isn't he? Loves these conditions. His sort of added weight seems to suit seems to help him suit these conditions. There's Constable, so despite his spin, still in, in there in the top 10, sitting well, in about sort of eighth, eighth place, I'd say that is, just behind him, Connor Gibbs in the number 20. So there's Perry with a very, very handy lead. Bobby Neal there in second. It's main battle on track here is this one here for third place. Payne, Smelt and Price. There in fifth place. The price looks very, very solid in these conditions, doesn't he? And oh, what a fantastic move that was there for fourth place. He left it very late, didn't he? But was clean as a whistle as he went through into fourth place there. See if he can get past Toby Payne. And all due respect to Toby Payne, I'm sure it won't be too long before the world finals is through. There's Daniel O'Byrne coming out of the pits. So he's had a obviously had to come in for some sort of repairs also a driver that's moved up from the junior category when we come up the hill we see josh price make any move third here we come not this time round. toby payne taking a tight line she looks like the quickest line doesn't it with uh, all the rubber to the outside the inside seems to be where all the grip is where you can break the latest but price is straight through into third place now as they came down the hill Here's Bobby Neal in second. Let's, try, let's start monitoring this gap now between Bobby Neal and Guy Perry. A quick mention, sorry. We had the X30s running off the front of this. Jack Bartholomew started from pole. Adam Smith it was sec it started second. Jack France third. Dean Hale last uh, year senior champion started in fourth with Josh Hatton, uh, the 2012 champion in fifth, and Jacob Stilp in sixth place. And leading that race is still Jack Bartholomew in the right cut, running for GW Motorsports. It's Guy Perry appears to be being caught here by Bobby Neal. Bobby Neal setting a, this far, setting a fast lap there, 57.35 compared to a 58.1 by Guy Perry. So he's about eight tenths faster with the next quickest driver, of course, being Josh Price. But Josh Price not quite as... 300 slower than Bobby Neal. So Bobby Neal is, is on fire here, isn't he? And he's already up to the back of Guy Perry. He must have closed him by a good second in this lap. Guy Perry appears to be struggling with some sort of sort of issue because I, I, I cannot make any see, see why he'd be uh, losing this much time to, to Neal. He's pointing down at something on the cart. Steering wheel looks very, very loose there. I don't know if he's got a loose wheel. You can just see he really is struggling. That's got to be some sort of mechanical issue he's picked up. Bobby Neal now takes the lead. Guy Perry there in second. But oh, his main worry now is just going to be trying to hold on to that second because he's got Josh Price in behind him in third place who's lapping just as fast as Neal. Toby Payne still there in fourth. Let's just have a, try and have a look now if we can see if we can get a close-up. See Neil working very hard on the wheel there, but going very fast. Yo, you see Perry, the, the steering wheel does look very, very loose there, doesn't it? Compare, if you compare it to, say, how Price went through the shot there. There's paint, smelt. We come into the boot now. Danny Russell there in sixth place. Doing a good job. Danny Wood, seventh. Jack Constable in eighth. Doing a good job. And Malin, it is. He was in ninth. So here we go, Bobby Neal. Last lap, I believe this is. And he comes through one and two now. So he's had a bit of <laughs> bit, bit of a not, not this smoothest run to the to victory, you know, picked up that contact with Sam Smelt. But you know, was, was, but since that hasn't put a foot wrong, has he? And was past Perry as quick as you like. And now it's into the lead and looks set to take round one victory, doesn't he? Only a half, a half a lap now to navigate. Let's see if we can see how Perry's getting on in second. Still there, but always oh, catching a back marker just at the wrong time now, isn't he? Price is 
trying all he can to catch Perry. But he's, if he had one more lap, maybe he'd be able to do something. We look back there, a battle with Kalaski and Gibbs. Uh, Neil, I think, has already gone through the shot. Let's have a look. Here comes Bobby Neal. Takes victory. Very, very happy. Two hands in the air. Well done, Bobby Neal. Perry just about holds on to second. Price and third. You can see a shake of the head from Guy Perry there. Clearly something was wrong. Fourth place, we had Toby Payne. Fifth, Sam Smelt. Uh, sixth, Danny Russell, which is a good result considering where he started in last place. Seventh, Daniel Woods. Eighth, Jack Constable. Malin and Knight from Jake Sturt rounding up the top ten. So, well, a good race. Unfortunate for Guy Perry with it, with his mechanical issues, but you can't take anything away from Bobby Neal. He was the quickest man on the track and fully, fully deserved his victory. So it's interesting to see how he his season goes. And well done to Josh Price as well, uh, although he just will be very, very cross with himself for that mistake on the, he made on the rolling lap. Did well to eventually recover to take a podium place. And well, that's it from round one from here at Stars at Wilton Mill. I hope you have enjoyed all of our all, all of our coverage today. Please do look through the channel WMKC TV to check out all of the uh, action from this month. Uh, do subscribe to us. Keep an eye on us for round two. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it all. And thank you for watching. I've been Chris McCarthy. I shall see you again. 23rd of February, Stars at Wilton Mill. That's the place to be. Goodbye. <laughs>